Common sayings of lost people, number two. Let him that is without sin cast the first stone. Have you ever heard a lost person say that? I have. I remember a while back this uh, Mario Brisson or whatever his name was, this vigilant Christian here on uh, the internet. He got caught literally with his pants down, you know, with his pants off actually. And uh, he's a pervert, sex pervert, wanting to be involved in group sex, uh, sodomy and all this other stuff. And he came out and, he, and people were rebuking him and saying, you're fake, you're a fraud, you need to get off YouTube. And he said, hey, let him that's without sin cast the first stone. That and calling people Pharisees, which we'll be getting to that in another one of these common sayings of lost people, uh, little short studies. But another one that did it was Ken Hovind. Ken Hovind divorced his first wife, married this uh, blonde woman, this uh, Mary Toko. Now he's on his third wife. He divorced her, now he married again, if you didn't know about that. But he said, his uh, video defending what he was doing, he said, hey, let him that's without sin cast the first stone. Uh, very, very typical of lost people. They'll try to say, hey, yes, you caught me red-handed in sin, but um, you can't judge me unless you are sinless. That's really what they're trying to say. But let's look at the actual scriptures here. Let's actually look at what the story is all about and what's going on. John chapter 8, verse 1. Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery, and when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses and the law commanded us that such should be stoned, but what sayest thou? See, they realize that Jesus Christ is coming to fulfill the law. There he's claiming these things. He's healing people and whatever else on the Sabbath day, which was making him angry. Um, and uh, he comes in and he's doing all this nice stuff. People are, are magnifying his name and they say, oh, let's just get this woman here and, and then we can, you know, put her to death essentially. And then people say, oh, Jesus wasn't such a nice guy after all. We'll see how Jesus handles this here in a moment. But first, we're going to go back to this passage of scripture that they're talking about, Moses and the law. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 22 says, If a man be found lying with a woman married to an husband, then they shall both of them die. Hmm. Both the man that lay with the woman and the woman, so shalt thou put away evil from Israel. Did they bring the man and the woman that were in this adulterous act? No, they only brought the woman. Hmm. Had a little problem there, violating the law, you know. They weren't really following the law of Moses. John chapter 8, verse 6. Let's go back to the story, back to the text here. This they said, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. There you have the saying that lost people will take. Hmm. Verse, John chapter 8, verse 8. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. Hmm. Um, now, the Bible doesn't say what Jesus was writing on the ground with his finger. I don't think he was just there scribbling, doodling, just, uh, you know. No, I think he either wrote Deuteronomy 22, verse 22, or perhaps, where's the man, or whatever. You know, and why were they, why, why were they convicted? Um, because he just proved in front of all the people, you're not really following the law of Moses. Mm -hmm. They were violating the law that they supposedly were there to uphold. Very interesting. But you see, that's usually where lost people will stop. They'll say, see, look at that. They all went out because nobody could judge them. And so you shouldn't be judging me either until you're without sin. You see? Open and shut case. Let's move on. Uh, 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 uh. No. Let's keep reading. John chapter 8, verse 10. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee for what she's doing there. But look what he says to her. Go and sin no more. Hmm. 
I think it'd be interesting next time you run into one of these people that says, hey, let him that's without sin cast the first stone. You say, okay, um, go and sin no more. What? What? Huh? That's what the passage is about there. Go and sin no more. Jesus let her off from the punishment that she justly deserved there. There's some typology for New Testament Christianity, which comes later after you know Jesus dies on the cross. That's there. But what about the thing of go and sin no more? Holy, righteous living. Hey, uh, 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 Ken Hoven, um, you want to use that little argument there? Uh, let him that's without sin cast the first stone. Okay, go and sin no more. Oh, you didn't make it. Uh, you divorced your second wife. Now you're on your third. Hey, uh, vigilant Christian, um, go and sin no more. You want to use that? Uh, let him that's without sin cast the first stone. Okay, go and sin no more. You got to be careful taking uh, verses out of context. You know what I mean? It just uh, ends up making it worse for you. Kind of like the uh, Pharisees that came there. Um, you actually see that the Pharisees are actually the people that add their traditions and their feelings to the text of Scripture. 